Welcome back to Classic Car Garage. This is the final step in our Project Mustangs paint job. Now, what we're going to do in this segment are the final two steps that will make this panel into a show-winning panel, and those are color sanding and buffing. Now, Tom, this panel already looks pretty darn good. I mean, a lot of people would accept this for their car, but we're not, are we? We've got two more steps to do with this. What's the uh, paper and the tape all about? The paper is to just give us um, a, a, the difference between a color sanded finish when this is done, this isn't done yet, but uh, and the uncolor sanded finish which will be underneath the paper. Okay, now those two steps starting with color sanding. First of all, what is color sanding going to do to this? How is it going to improve this finish? What we're going to do is we're going to knock out anything, any dust particle or any orange peel or any amount of uh, any flaw that's in the paint. And we're going to knock that down to a flat surface. And then with 2,000 grit sandpaper, and then we're going to buff that up with a, a buffing wheel and compound. OK, and a lot of people have the mistaken idea that really the, the, that, that the reason that the cars shine out at shows is because they're using a very good quality wax. But that's not the case, is no, it? No, it's not. Absolutely. It happens to be the paint job here. Absolutely. The wax is simply a protectant and an enhancer to a certain extent, but it is Definitely the color sanding, the buffing, you don't want to skip this process whatsoever. This is a really important process in a paint finish. The amount of time that we spend prepping the car and making it look good, the kind of paint that we use, these are all really important steps. Mm -hmm. But without this step, you're not going to win a paint. Right. Well, as I said, already it looks pretty good. There are some minor imperfections that I can see here. So let's get to work on this. As you said, the first thing that we're going to need is a specific sanding block for, yes. for uh, color sanding, right? Yes. And we're using a, looks like a very well-used 3M block yes, here. We certainly sure could is. use some more of those. <laughs> yes. And you're going to be wrapping some uh, sandpaper around yeah. that. And that's what, what grit on that? This is uh, 3M sandpaper. It's 2000 grit. Um, it doesn't really have much of a texture to it. No, not at all. But it will take this paint down. And again, it's got to, you've got to use it in a bucket of clean water. and Very and water, clean water with a little bit of soap as a lubricator. A little bit of soap. And the water serves really as a way for some of the uh, particles that you take off there really to sort of just float away, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And you want to rinse that probably quite regularly too. Oh yes, you'll see it's quite often. Okay, now, now that we've got that wrapped uh, around the block there, what is the technique for color sanding? When you color sand a uh, any kind of paint. You want to do it in a straight line fashion. Doesn't necessarily have to be, um, uh, you know, All up or down. One it's just try and do it in one direction so you can differentiate between the buff scratch and the color sanding scratch. Um, as you buff on the scratch surface, that straight line, you'll see the rotation of the buffer putting its own scratch in there, which will be much smaller than the 2,000 grit scratch. OK, so when you're buffing and you're done buffing an area, if you see more of these, you know that you haven't buffed that enough and That's you need right. to keep going over that area. Yes. OK, so there's nothing really spectacularly fancy about this. You just rinse it and sand, right? Yes. And how much pressure sh should you put on this? Not really much pressure at all. The, the sandpaper will cut by itself, and you just glide the paper back and forth across the panel. OK, let's see how this okay. uh, works. Dip it in the water, a little bit of soap in there, and you just simply glide that across there. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sandpaper, and you can see I'm pulling up a little color right now. Right, we can see the colored water running over here, so it is taking a little bit of the surface off yeah, just, there. Yep, just a, just a tiny bit of paint that's coming off. And this is to eliminate any orange peel, any particulates, anything like that that has gotten down into that paint. Yep. And, and of course, any, I don't hear any scratching. Any, no, it's, it's very, very mild. But any car that wins paint awards mm -hmm. has had this process done to it. Would you be able to take a paint job that's maybe a year or so old that's been protected and color sand it in order to get any imperfections out of the surface of that paint as well? Um, like an OEM factory finish? Right. Is this something that it's, you have to do as soon as you paint it, though? Well, OEM factory finishes, it's dangerous to do on because you never know how much paint's on that surface. You mm -hmm. can do it, but it's, it's dangerous. 